I, I came to Nashville because I've dealt with racism all my life. I was born in Tennessee, and Nashville is an amazing place to be. I, I, I don't walk around feeling judgment out the corner of people, passerby's eyes, the way that I do in my hometown. Um, and, I, and I don't hate the police, I really don't. Um, I, I have a very close friend that works uh, for Metro PD. He's a really great man. He's a white guy. He has a black wife and two mixed children that are beautiful. And, and he works very hard to protect his family and he works very hard to protect the city and he believes in, 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 in what protect and serve means. And, and I don't want people to be divided. I don't want this to be the people versus the police. That that's not what it is. You know, we, at the Saturday protest, we talked to cops. They're frustrated, but they have to make a living, and they, they swore an oath to, to their badge as well. But enough is enough. Constantly black people have been fighting over the past 60 years for their rights, using the system that was laid out against us, that was stacked against us, a hand where the dealer controls all of the cards, and, and it's not fair, and I know we want to resort to violence. I know some people even want war to break out. But you can look at today and you can see that so many people in this city and so many people in cities across the nation love the black community and stand with us. And we just have to endure. We have to endure any traps that they set for us. We have to endure any of the slander that we see here on the media, any of the lies, we're all connected. We know more, we know the news before the news knows it because we're all on Twitter and we're all on Facebook. We, we don't need more lives lost. Dang, I mean, if you look at systematic racism, it's a problem from the ground up. So the, if the people on the top are gonna change, the people on the bottom need to change. But at the very least, I'd like to see an infrastructure, a support system that actually cares about its people, like say, I don't know, local government, maybe our fucking, uh, our service and protectors back here. When those kind of people start giving a fuck and start showing that they can, that, 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 that a change has been made, that a change can be made, if it clearly needs to be, uh, I'll begin to be satisfied. In the sky, love you more. I also on the faces of people going by. I see friends shaking a hand, saying hi. There shouldn't be four generations of having the same problem. So I'd like for the next generation after me to um, see a change, and they only know it that it was history and not something that they have to live with. This isn't going to be a snap of the fingers and change just happens. Racism isn't going to be in. Racism has existed since the dawn of time. That I'll ever know, and I think to myself. I, you know, not just Nashville, but all over the country, essentially what we want is for the police to be held accountable for their actions. I think to myself. What a wonderful world. Oh, yeah. God bless you, folks. He did create a wonderful world. Amen.